Hey everyone, Shaver1000 here. Today, we've got this big box here. We're going to open this box up together. As you can tell from the title, this is a 1977 HO scale race and chase slot car set. Now, makes me feel like it's 1977 again. The Christmas tree behind me. Christmas season and all. Um, this was either the first, maybe second. Um, I might have gotten a slot car set in 1976, but I think it was pretty much trains before this. But I'm I'm thinking it might be the first one I ever got. This is not the original one I got, but I think it's the first slot car set I got. So. <clears throat> We're going to open this up together and we're going to check this out. It seems to be well packaged. It came in a timely manner. So let's get this opened up and we'll talk about it as we're opening this up. Okay, so I was scrolling around the internet looking at some of these vintage slot car tracks. The other night and came across this one and I, it just immediately hit me I seen the price on it and it said complete <clears throat> but it had issues I'll put it up on the screen right now of the listing and of what's wrong with it now it was $18 Plus shipping. The shipping was like 26 bucks. Um, it was 18 dollars or make offer. I thought, all right, I'll make him an offer. Because <coughs> as you can see, it it said, you know, that it was complete. So I thought, I'll offer him 10 bucks. And as you can see from this pop up here, that. He accepted my offer and it was getting ready to be shipped. This is is well uh, well packaged, very well packaged, and it showed up in this condition. Very good condition. Uh, for the post office anyway. So there it is. This thing's clear. It's hard to see. Alright. Now, let's see if we can open this up. Oops, sorry guys. So, and there's what we're looking at. Very, again, very, very well packaged. 1977. Wow. I do have him as a saved seller now, so in case he does have some antique train parts, uh, train car, some transistor, you know, uh, transformers to make the trains go. And he did say it's the original box. But the original box is in poor condition, so let's see here. This is one of the bigger, uh, bigger track sets I had. Uh, the cliffhanger one, I think, was the biggest one. Biggest set I had. It went up the wall and stuff. But this one is the race, the race and chase, and. But it's not without its issues. We'll get into that. We're going to fix them and see if we can't get this thing running somewhat tonight. I do know it's going to need, they're going to need tires. Um, which, you know, it said that in the description on the listing. So, monkey loves these things. If I would wrap these up in a box and give them to her for Christmas, she would absolutely love that. But anyway, okay, get the 
this out here. Speed track. The box is in poor condition. He said it would be taped on the sides. It has been taped many, many times, but you know, since 1977, I'm surprised the box even still exists. This will also spin around and go the other direction by hitting a button on top of the controller. Wow, this is very well packaged. Oh wow, it's still got the, uh, the original box that the cars came in. Okay, so one of the first things we're going to work on is he said these controllers don't go back. I don't know if the spring's missing. Doesn't look like they've ever been apart before but they will not retract on their own. They're supposed to come back. Uh, I'm thinking I had a problem with one of mine one time and I took it apart and fixed it. But you hit this, hit that button on top, it reverses the polarity, it makes the, it'll spin the car around and make it go backwards. So far seems to be as advertised. I can't remember. I don't know if these were glued together or if there was a couple screws. I can't remember, but we'll get into that. These are here. Four pieces of guardrail. This is the ramp. you could go over and then the other car would get stuck underneath when you're running from the cops all right same with this one but I'll have to it looks like someone may have tried to pry that apart at one time right there Like I said, I know I took one of mine apart one time for the same issue. I think they might be glued, but this is the, uh, the first thing we're going to do is fix these. I'll do one on camera and then, uh, then I'll do the other one off camera. Um, it says they do run, but the car, the police car, one of the back tires blew apart and I, and I see that. It's missing the back tire. Um, I don't have tires for this, but I got an idea that maybe we can do to, to get these running tonight. And this one, this car here, it does have the tires, but they're not going to go well because you know they're just so old and dry cracked I, I can buy these tires for like I, don't know, I think it was like 10 bucks for four of these the front ones don't do a whole lot but they they would help but uh, so so far it is as advertised, um, so that's good. Okay, um, does have the controller? It does seem to be all here. I don't see any original paperwork, which is not surprising. That's very rare to have that. But uh, the picture did show it completely set up, so I'm pretty confident. I'm very confident, as a matter of fact, that. Um, yeah, that these, uh, that this is all here. Yeah, this is a Corvette. Um, it says catch me on it. 
Now, I think if I remember right, if I remember right, the um, the the lights would blink on top of this thing. <coughs> Excuse me. I seen one online, one of these in mint condition. They wanted 150 bucks for it, but it was truly mint. There's a little screw there you take out. Um, we'll get into this, these cars, in a little bit. Um, so yeah, this is the first thing we're going to try to do. I'm going to put you up here on the counter, on the countertop. We're going to try to take this apart. Looks like it may come apart pretty easy. Someone may have had this apart before. Yeah, it looks like that sticker there is cut. Um, so let's get you up there. But he had it for spark, for sparks, for parts or repair. Well, I'm going to try to repair it. Um, and if we can't get them running tonight, maybe we'll we'll run the. Uh, We'll run the Corvettes, my Corvettes, on here. So, all right, let's get you up here on the counter. All right, so here's the controller. Again, I got this this light over here. Um, I don't know if putting it back here will help or not. Let me try to do something different with that light. Okay, so I don't know how long this battery is going to last in this light because it's like. 49 LEDs or something like that 50 maybe even 60 anyway it's a huge light uh, the only thing I don't like about it is it does not have a place to plug into you know to plug it in you know it's just it's battery only but so but my camera is equipped with a um, a hot shoe mount to where I can get a get a light and it works off the battery of this so if you have your camera plugged in the, uh, the light will stay on so let's just see looks like it's been apart before so let's try to open this up apparently it works it just doesn't spring back and there's the spring okay this is what I think was wrong with mine the There's supposed to be a place for the spring. I can't remember if there was a hook or if it went in this little hole. Um, I believe it came over there and hooked up here. If I remember right. So it pulls it back here. I thought this came up out. Okay, yeah, I think there's a spring down under there. Someone may have tried to add this. But it looks like there's a piece broke off here, like a spring would have hooked onto it. But this would be a very, very tight spring. Um, I think. Let me get a pair of pliers and a screwdriver, but there's a spring down under here. I think that actually worked that. I think that's just a pressure fit. Hang on, let me get a pair of pliers and a screwdriver. We'll try to gingerly take this apart. Okay, so let me get you down here. I've had several of these apart before. Um, but I thought, yeah, someone may have tried to add this spring 
but I think there's a spring under here. There we go. Okay, this is bringing back memories. There is a spring here, but I think that just, uh, <coughs> okay, this spring just holds connection between this and this. Uh, it just gives a contact. Um, let's put a tiny, tiny dab of oil on this. Let's put it on here. Not much. I know a couple times I had to take these apart and clean these. I do see some stuff there. Um, let me get a pencil eraser and we're going to try to clean this up a little bit here. Because sometimes, like, you'll squeeze it and it'll jerk like that. I have used, um, like 2000 grit sandpaper on these before and I don't have any I don't like to use anything rough I may have some steel wool I'll try to use that to clean that up and while it's apart like I said this has to make a good contact here so, we're going to go ahead and clean this up too while we're at it. Let me get a little piece of steel wool. <coughs> they say don't use that on the tracks either, on the rails and the tracks, because, you know, it can scratch plastic. Um, which it can, but something like this, it can't be seen, and... If it's fine enough you can do that so let's let me see what I got to clean these up better okay so this is the finest sandpaper I've got I believe this is hundred grit should be all right for this uh oh Bruno's medication time Alexa stop rise and shine yeah, this will be fine. Degrees Fahrenheit with mostly cloudy skies. Tonight, you can look for just a few clouds in the sky with a low of 46 degrees. Yeah, this will be alright. Just kind of go easy on it. I don't know. Couldn't find any SOS pad. I'll have to ask Monk if she's got any. Got to come out and get Bruno her, his meds. Got to take his medicine. Brakes went out on the Corvette when I moved the Corvette over. I moved it forward to move it over to the right a little bit, and I pulled forward. And I was sitting there, put it in reverse, and all at once the pedal just started going to the floor, and that was it. It didn't pop. There was no fluid underneath it, so I'm guessing the uh, master cylinder because uh, when we brought it out here the master cylinder when she put a, her foot on the brakes when they went to bring it out here I was out here and she met with the tow guy when it was being towed out here from her mom and dad's house um, the it stuck the master cylinder stuck so all I did was went out and tapped on the end of it and it unstuck and I told her so that's not a good sign. I don't know how long that's going to last. Well, if that's a problem, that's about how long it'll last. Because um, I knew last time I was under the hood, it was full of fluid. It was a little low, but I mean, it you know, wasn't low, low. Or I would have put some in it. But All right, I'm going to keep cleaning on this. And I'll let her come out and give Bruno his meds. That's, that's looking pretty good. It's not rough, so. And also, I found this spring set. So, yeah, I gotta go ahead and get them out here because Bruno, he'll, he'll start 
pr prancing around pacing and stuff he knows what time his medicine what time medicine time is so let's just see what we got here real quick um, <clears throat> they're supposed to be on the end here a hook like a little plastic and I think that's what happened to mine it's supposed to be like a hook there where you hook a spring onto it um, so I'm gonna see if I can on here so what I'm my thoughts are to drill a little hole in there and put this hook in here and bring it over to that I think that'll I think that'll work so I think that's what we're gonna do so while they're doing that I'll get a little tiny drill bit in my trusty drill out yeah, I think that'll be fine. This is a really stiff. I don't think this is original because I don't remember mine being that stiff. And by the time you get it wide open, it'll be really, really stiff. Uh, also, clean the spring up a little bit here. All right, guys. Give me a second. I'll be back with you. Okay, so I got to looking. I had this spring here, but I found... Another one that's a little longer. So I think instead of drilling, I think what I'm going to do is there's already a hole here. I'm going to try to extend the spring out and bring that over down over top of that which it will go and um, so it'll go like this and then I'm gonna stretch it out it's only got to go that far I'm gonna stretch it out and clip it into that hole I think that's what I'm gonna do so this is just single here this is double so this would make it longer now, I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to see this or you either So, what I'm going to do, I've got several of these, so I can mess up a few times. <laughs> and uh, still be good to go. Leave a little bit of a hook on it. I don't think it's going to catch on to anything. Of course, we can always clip this off if we have to. Let's open this end up a little bit over here just so it slides down on there easier a little bit more whoops yeah that should do it so yeah that'll go under over there now I may have to don't think it'll catch on anything down below there that looks about right there <coughs> twist that like that a little bit <clears throat> now what we're going to do and put this down in this little hole here yeah I, I remember I was sitting here thinking about that and I remember one of mine did that broke off of there <clears throat> and I'm pretty sure I did something similar to what I'm doing now now let's put our, got this all nice and cleaned up. Let's put our spring over top of here. And the case, I'll show you here in just a second. The case, which would be that right there, 
that hole slides down over top of this, so that'll hold that on. Put this back on. Hang on there. like this there we go like I said all that does is uh, change the polarity I'm gonna put just a tiny drop on this because that rubs right there on that ridge ridge let's put this back in here like that. it's not going all the way back so, we're going to shorten that up, which I have to go get another pair of cutters. Ugh. Cut that spring off and shorten it up just a little bit. So, let me get my cutters. Okay, so what I'm looking for is when we put this on here, that there's just the slightest amount of tension to bring bring this all this contact all the way back to there if not it'll gnats it will uh, try to be you know like taken off all the time so like I said I can do this a few times <laughs> now let's And I don't have to worry about this metal spring touching that contact because the metal spring is only going over to plastic, so. Now let's see if it'll give me some tension. what I'm doing here yeah that should that should do it let's put this on here put this on here there we go now see that's all the way back before it was right there so I hope that doesn't like want to pull this up but I can always Put a little down pressure on there. <clears throat> As you saw, they're easy enough to take apart if we have to. Um, it's kind of sticking right. I think I'm going to take a little bit more off. I like to have more tension than that. I want it to go clear back. Well, see it's kind of stopping there. So, let me get this adjusted. I'll bring you back and we'll put this back together. Alright, so I got the spring adjusted where it needs to be. Except I had a catastrophe. <laughs> I broke this off inside, inside there. I got it out. But... <clears throat> So I'm gonna have to, this has got a crack in it. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is try to get that to melt back together. Get a screw down in there with a washer. And then I think it's gonna work all right. But that's what happens when you're dealing with 46 year old stuff. So it's not that big of a deal. Um, let me get my let me get my soldering iron out. It needs to be a little bit more like that, I think. Let me get my soldering iron out. And there we go. And we'll see if I can uh, get.
get that fixed up. See, that's got to go down there for this to make contact. See, that's kind of pulling it up. So that's got to be there to help hold that up against there. I could. Let's try to put it underneath. Like this. this one. I think this will be all right. I have to give it a little bit more of a hook so it will stay on better. But Yeah, this is going to work. All right, so let me get this repaired. I'll do that off camera. It's just It's nothing major. Just a quick and easy fix. Let's just check this together first and uh, make sure this is going to be all right. There we go. My niece Snowy just had a baby, so five pounds. Yeah, I think that's going to work all right. I got a little washer here. I can put on there and I'll get a... See if I can get a screw that'll go in there. And hold that on. Um, probably drill a little hole in that. Okay. Let me get this straight. <laughs> Let me get this sorted out. I can check that with my vote ohm meter too. Okay, I see. I'll have to do a little bit of tweaking on this because it's kind of hitting that right there. <clears throat> Other than that, I think we can get it fixed. I'll squeeze that together with a pair of pliers like that. And then I'll uh, weld that back together. Okay guys, I think I got it. All right, now let's put this thing back together. be that hard to do. <laughs> I should have stopped. It, it would have been fine. But you know, it's always, uh, I need to go just a little bit more. And that's what happens. You can still buy these controllers. So I'm not too concerned about it. Uh-oh. Something's not right. My screw head might be a little bit too far up. Yeah, it is. Okay, I see. This, this piece right here would help hold that in. So, I'm just going to whittle that down with my knife, and I'm going to put this back together. Oops. Careful. Then I'm going to put it back together, and I'll do the other one off camera. Okay, so this is, is the second one, so that is the correct spring that is supposed to be in there. 
So all I did was drill a little hole right there. Seems to be doing just fine. Yeah, that'll work. Takes it off the contact. All right, cool. So I'm gonna get this one back together. Should just did that with the first one, but that's all right. Uh, later on, I'll find, you know, I'll try to find some some of these um, these controllers because I seen a set on there that was pretty reasonable. It said it was complete except for the cars because I'd like to get more track for it too. So and add more track to it. I'll get a set like that without the cars. Hang on. And I'll have a bonus of there we go. I'll have the bonus of uh, getting a couple controllers too. Alright, now it's time. Let me get these springs put away here. Especially that one. I may use that one again. Or on the other one if it doesn't work right. Alright, I'm going to go down here. And I'm going to get the track back. Or, shoot. Anyway, I'm going to go over here and put the track together, and I'll film it, but I'll speed you up, because I don't know how long that's going to take. Um, I may have to look it up on the internet. I know about how it goes, but like I, like I said, I haven't had one in put together since 1977 or 78, so hang on, guys. Sorry you couldn't see it all, but it's a pretty good sized track. <coughs> How we're going to get it plugged in, we're going to check and make sure the cars run. Um, the vent might run with them tires, but the police car is definitely not. I have one curved track there. I don't know if it goes to this because there's a couple different ways you can set this up. I remember us setting it up one time just doing races and uh, we left the ramp out of it. So, and I know you can do a figure eight. Um, let me see what else we got over here. We've got guardrails. I may put them on. <clears throat> I forget what this is for. I can't remember. I can't remember what this is for. But right now, just to check it, we're going to leave the guardrails off. And I'm going to get it plugged in. First, I'm going to take a little break. Uh, I am missing one little piece right there. It's not a biggie. I'm still going to call it a complete set. It is missing one little corner piece right there. So. 
said you. Um, it might be here. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to take a break. Uh, I mean, the guy was honest about it so far. I can't say anything he wasn't honest about. Other than that one little corner piece, I'm not worried about that at all. It's not going to affect it in any way, so no biggie. Um, might be here because I shoved some stuff around, but that's okay. Uh, I'll be back with you guys. All right. Now, let's give this thing some power. It's all color coded. No way to mix them up. Red to red, orange to orange, blue to blue. Plug this in. Okay. Now, <clears throat> all right, we're getting somewhere. Okay, let's back you out. Let's see. Let me see. Not getting anything. Alright, let me get my meter and make sure we're getting power at this plug. Then we'll go from there. Okay guys, so after much messing around, it's just a lot of corroded. The guy did say, you know, the track's going to need clean and... That's the Corvette. Here's the police car. Does sound a lot better. Okay, but doesn't sound great. It just sounds better than the Corvette. So let's go ahead. We're gonna let me zoom you in here a little bit. Alright, I'm going to take a screw out. It's been out a million times it looks like. It's just about stripped. So hopefully we can get it out of there. Not too much of an issue. Doesn't look like it wants to come out. Let me get a, another little tiny screwdriver. Yeah, see that? It's pretty well ragged out because you got to take these apart all the time you know so and these screws guys when you put these bodies on they do not have to be super tight you just screw it in till it stops and that's it there we go wow now I'm not gonna have a screw like this so We'll have to put it back in, but we know the straight screwdriver will take it out. You can buy these screws. Let me move this over here out of the way. I noticed the lights did not work on this. That's okay. Not concerned with the lights. 
later on if I want to restore it you know then I'll worry about the light but at least I didn't notice it okay this is pretty well pretty grody so I'm going to get some alcohol we're going to drop a little bit of oil there a little bit of oil back here um, <clears throat> you can buy what they call tune-up kits for these um, really all you get is an axle and a couple other things we will clean that commutator off I'm betting I can't really see but I'm betting the brushes are worn Huh. Okay. Alright. That, th that thing is rock hard. Yeah, I'm betting these brushes are worn out. But I'm going to clean them off. And we'll give it some oil and see what we can get it to do. <clears throat> um, you can buy these motors for these things too. Uh, let me get some alcohol. Okay. Get that down there on that commutator and spin that around a little bit. Yeah, the gears are about ready to strip. You can buy these gears and everything for these things. been around a while yeah I see it's starting to like strip there I think you can slide these gears over. Make them fit a little bit tighter. A lot of guys will loosen them up. Less drag, more performance, but we're never going to race these things, so. It's just it's just worn see it doesn't want to turn there all right <clears throat> let's uh let's put a little bit of oil on it and it only takes a drop might help if I open it I want to put some behind that gear so it gets down into the motor part then we'll get some on the gear that's enough there Spin it around a little bit. I think that's a 10 tooth. I'm not sure. 8 or 10 tooth gear on that. Whoa. Alright, let's put this on the, dra on the track and see if it sounds any better. I may have to mess with the track some more then.
All right, let me mess around with that some more. It's <coughs> in these connections. There's just a little tiny piece of wire in there, and it gets dirty. And... All right, let me mess around with this some more. All right, okay, so I found a couple problems. This was, this was loose. It's on the bottom of the track. Tried to solder it, but, nah. It'll stick to this piece, but not the track piece. And the, uh, the power, the transformer is bad. That was the cop car. This one. Doesn't sound that great either. So let's put the cop car back together. I'll do that and then I'm gonna take this one back. I'm gonna take this one apart and then we'll, uh, we'll see if it'll run around the track. I don't know. We'll just have to see. So I got the cars running. This one doesn't sound good at all. Um, probably just needs a complete rebuild. This one, we're going to be able to see. You guys can't see nothing. This one, we're going to be able to see it run too because here's what I did to the tires. I just put a couple O rings on there just for. Testing. I used to do that quite a bit when I was a kid because you know you could actually go to a hobby shop and buy parts for these things just right up the road. So I just was a kid waiting to save my money to get new tires and stuff. So let's get you down here. We're going to. Uh, I got the track put back on. We're going to get this thing plugged back in. We're going to see if it'll make it all the way around the track. So, it does work, like the man said it does, and it does need work, but I need to get a couple parts. These controllers are crap, and of course I need tires. Try to make it reverse. Huh, didn't do it quick enough. Ah. Track needs clean, but that's not a big deal either. get it going again then we'll we'll let it run a few laps There we go. Well, we'll 
had her going. These has, this has those um, O-rings, <laughs> those little rubber O-rings on them for the tires, as you can tell. But I thought, you know, to try this thing out, it'd be fun. I think there's a break in these wires somewhere. Uh oh. That's why me and my brother used to take the ramp out a lot. <laughs> Go the other way. That's why I think the wires are kind of messed up. Probably got a break in one of them. I mean, I checked them for continuity and they had continuity, but you hold this a certain way. It'll go. All right, let me mess around with this and I'll be back with you. Okay, guys. So, I'm very happy with this. I know what parts I need. Needs tires. Um, controllers seem to be okay. But I think it's this, this one piece of track right here. I think that has an issue. Also, the police car did have a brush give out in the motor. So, that's not a big deal. Um... I get motors and brushes and stuff like that pretty cheap so but I know what I need to get and there'll be other videos on this because I'm gonna get this running and get these cars going around the track like they're supposed to um, I had to <clears throat> I had the police car going around pretty good 
and I did about 15 laps. I was getting ready to kick you guys on and start slowing down, slowing down, slowing down, and finally nothing. This one is running better. It's running okay now, but <clears throat> so yeah, it's pretty late now. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my mess. Thanks for watching, guys. So I'm really happy with this. Um, yeah, I got a pretty good deal on that one. <laughs> I would say. So yeah, I'll have to put a little money into it, but nothing major. So um, when I get done, you know, it's going to be a hundred dollar track. So I gave ten dollars for it. So you know, if I put another thirty in it, I'm in. I'll be into it for forty bucks. I'm still going to have a hundred dollar track. So uh, maybe even more, you know, because these these tracks keep going up in price. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Shea Bear, the Myth, the Man, the Legend. I'm gone for now. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye and take care.